State leaders say there haven't been enough available beds in Montana for Medicaid patients to receive substance use treatment. They believe a new agreement with the federal government will clear out one of the major hurdles. It's exciting for those needing help right now. It is a game changer. The waiver agreement means larger substance abuse treatment facilities can get Medicaid reimbursement when people come in for short-term inpatient or residential treatment. Federal law prevents certain facilities with more than 16 beds from getting payment through Medicaid for those services. But Montana DPHHS asked for an exemption, and it's now been granted. It is a patient access issue. All the stars aligned, and like I said, I can't give enough credit to the people at the state who really helped this happen at this point. Lynette Kosovich is CEO of Rimrock, a treatment center in Billings. Because of the rule, they weren't allowed to put Medicaid patients in beds at their main facility. Instead, they've had to redirect them to smaller facilities around the community. Kosovich says on an average day, they may have 20 to 30 open beds. So you want to talk about really start piling up a waiting list, which is a travesty because we have the opportunity to treat these people, and we have the beds, but there is no payment mechanism. DPHHS says Rimrock will be the first facility to immediately benefit from the change, but they hope it won't be the last. I think what we're really interested in is, you know, as we make this available, there will probably be more providers who come to the table and are interested in providing this type of service. This waiver is just one of several the state asked for from the federal government as part of the HEART initiative. The others are still under consideration. The HEART Fund was one of Governor Greg Gianforte's first budget priorities. It takes state marijuana tax revenue, money from Montana's tobacco settlement, and federal Medicaid match funding, and uses it to fund behavioral health and substance use treatment. The Montana Department of Revenue says they'll likely make the first transfer of adult use marijuana tax revenue into the HEART Fund later this month. The fund will receive $6 million of that money. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.